Welcome everyone. Hey, it's time to talk about the Gleason map. One more time. Now, I'm sure some of you have already noticed that it appears to be an onslaught against the quote-unquote Gleason's map. But let's keep this in mind. But let's analyze what exactly is happening. So it would appear that Cesar, which I enjoyed watching his videos, um, was really good. But appear, apparently he decided to take a trip down memory lane to Tiger Dan's location. And apparently he's been hanging around Tiger Dan because apparently this guy's gone sideways as well. Now what's interesting is he went sideways because of spelling errors on the quote unquote Gleason's map. Now it is important that you pay attention to what they're critiquing and what they're not critiquing. Their whole beef is the fact that there are spelling errors. And according to Flat Earth Conspiracy, which in my personal humble opinion is nothing more than the left hand of Globusters. See, Globusters is the right hand. Flat Earth Conspiracy is the left hand. And they're just playing ping pong ba back and forth. And guess who's the ping pong ball? That's right, you. Now, these guys and gals uh, have outlined 32 errors. Actually, technically, it's 33. There's 32 enumerated errors, spelling errors, and then other errors. So they've enumerated 33 items. Wow, that's shocking. All they're doing is nitpicking spelling errors if you watch the video i did back in february of 2016 and it's titled flat earth hidden message in gleason map in that video i outlined the question of where this map came from and i theorized at the very end that it was put out for mocking the best place to hide something as we we all know is in plain sight. So how do you do that with the actual face of the earth? It's very simple. You create a cause and run against its effects. Old school political tool. You create a cause. You let out this map. Within that map there are certain things that you can use to debunk it. Once it is debunked then it is relocated to something that is irrelevant. That's what they're doing here. Okay, spelling errors have nothing to do with the map itself, the location of the land masses, and how it operates like a clock. Now, you can take the word Gleason's out of it and put the azimuthal equal distant in there. It's the same damn thing. It changes nothing other than it's designed to distract and to debunk what is true okay the azimuthal equal distant map is the only map we have that is correct it, because it's the only map okay if you put yourself in the center of anything and you rotate around in a circle from that point outward that is where things are Okay? Every circle, regardless of what it is, has equal distant lines going from the inside to the outside of the circle. The straight lines, not the ones going around in, in, in a circle wise. Okay? Those are the longitudinal lines. All longitudinal lines on any circle are correct because it positions everything in relative location to the center of what you're measure, measuring. And the sun rotates around that center. The azimuthal equal distant map 
is what you're living on. There's no need to argue about anything else. That is what it is. Now, if you listen to all these shows that are on there, these constant three-hour, four-hour diatribes about absolutely nothing, see, you're going to go crazy. You're going to get lost. You have to think. Okay? Ships navigate. Airplanes navigate. Every, all the bearings are coordinated based on lat long, longitudinal, latitudinal directions and bearings. Okay? That can only work on a flat plane. It cannot work on a ball. Okay? It just cannot work on a ball. You need to pay attention. If you keep listening to these people like this over hyper, I don't even know what his name is, on Flat Earth Conspiracy, all you're doing is going to get your mind filled with garbage. I've watched these people before. They continuously go in around in a circle. They lead you nowhere. Okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what the face of the earth is. All it matters, we know that it's flat and it's not a ball. Okay? And the land area, the land masses that we are aware of, South America, North America, the Europe, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, all those land masses, the land masses that we are aware of, we know where they're at in respect to everyone else because the azimuthal equal distant map tells you where it's at. Okay. Now, if the North Pole doesn't really exist, that's a different story because the North Pole is where we base everything on because that's where the magnet points and has pointed forever. Now, again, if you keep listening to these flat earth conspiracy globusters, these people are designed to just play ping pong with your mind and you're the ping pong ball. Okay? I don't know if Cesar is actually gone off the deep end or if he just believes this shit. But it is all garbage. Okay, you can move on to other things. The, fl the land is flat. The earth is flat. The water is perfectly level. What more do you need to know? You're wasting your mind. You're wasting this garbage of these people that are just trying to poison your mind and deceive you. Okay? They're putting out videos. It seems like every six hours they're putting out videos of nothing but garbage. They're talking about nothing. It's literally a show about nothing. Does that sound familiar? Now the Gleason's map and the spelling errors on it are clearly designed to be a Trojan horse. They are designed to help them debunk it. Even though they haven't debunked anything in regards to the map. Only spelling errors. Now, I, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Some of those names I did catch before. Others I did not. The ones that I did catch, I just chalked up to, well... Things were named differently years ago. Countries changed names, borders changed, whatever, and language changes. The English language is actually one of the biggest hacks in the world. It's always changing. Okay, so it never bothered me as far as a spelling check because I didn't care about the spelling. What I was looking at was all the mathematics of it. Did it work? And it works. Whether you call it a Gleason's, the azimuthal equidistant, it doesn't matter. It works. And I showed you how it works in my video, Australia. So, this is my two cents in. I don't have a big voice on YouTube. I got less than a thousand sub subs. Thank you all for those thousand subs. But it's, you know, I'm not going to reach anybody. But if you happen to be listening to this, stop listening to this shit. Okay? Open your eyes, go outside and see, 
and does it work? Okay, that's what you're looking for. Not some freaking heart-shaped map made of some rocks or crystals that fall from the sky like Globusters. You're just a ping pong ball if you keep listening to these people. And that's all I've got to say.